everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again for another video. I hope you are all well. First of all, I just want to say I'm sorry this video is so horrendously late. I did debate as to whether to even film it, but I decided, you know what, just go for it. I feel like I'm on a good roll at the minute of trying to get a video out every week. Oh, <laughs> and, and I just felt as if there's some really cute things that I want to show you today and I just thought maybe you'd like to see them. So that's why I decided to go ahead. So I am very sorry, it's, it's quite untimely to upload this video, but oh well, I've done it now. So um, I also just want to say thank you so much if you're a new subscriber. I noticed there was a few more that have joined me since my last video. So thank you so, so much. I hope you will stay um, with me on this journey of my blog. So thank you very much for that. If you are new, my name is Leslie. This is The Bubble Diaries. If you fancied following me on Instagram, it is The Bubble Diaries underscore. But I'm just going to go straight into the video. So basically, I'm just going to talk through some of the items that I received for Christmas. And of course, I'm not sitting here trying to brag or show off. I just know these videos are very popular on YouTube and this is my first time doing this. I just thought I'll give it a go. And I just think I'm gonna start with the, the main item because I do know there's a lot of girls on Instagram absolutely love this brand. They're fairly new on my radar, so I just thought it's it's a useful opportunity to talk about this brand and showcase one of their pieces, which I was very lucky to receive for Christmas. So I shall just get on with it. So the first item is from Santini Couture and they honestly have the most stunning coats. I'm absolutely in love with every single thing that they put up on their Instagram. It's all so feminine, so chic, so luxurious look, look, looking. And actually, I, whilst they're definitely investment pieces, they are not totally unachievable. So I'm just gonna grab the item that I have and I will show you it. So here is the coat here and I'll hopefully do some nice close-up shots for you or an outfit shot just so you can really get the gist of it. But so this is um, an American in Paris. That is the name of this coat. Yeah, that's right. And this is the color Camello. And so first of all, I just want to say that it is faux fur. So this is completely faux fur. And at first, honestly, I was like, oh my God, is this definitely faux? Because it honestly feels so soft and so just luxurious, but I double checked, it's definitely, it's vegan fur and it is, it's such good quality. I'm honestly not even just, I'm not even saying that. <laughs> I'm not even just saying that. It honestly feels so beautiful. And then you have the same on the cuff there as well. So it's round the sleeves like that. And then you have gorgeous gold buttons, which we know I love. I'll just do a wee close up there. And this style has the tie around the middle, which I love as well because I've mentioned this in other videos. I really love the cinched in waist look. It's just, it suits my figure and I just find it to be flattering for me. So I, I they do have some other stunning coats which are less fitted around the waist. And I was tempted by another one called, I think it's an affair to remember. If I've got a picture, I'll include it here. It looked absolutely stunning, but I think what made me kind of lean towards this one, although it was actually a surprise, um, I didn't actually know, um, I actually didn't know it was going to be coming at all, but I didn't, I'd, I'd suggested, you know, a couple of them. And I just thought I'm leaning towards the one with the belt because I feel like you can then really nip in that waist. So some other qualities about the jacket, or sorry, the coat, it's 100% wool cashmere. So I think it's 10% cashmere and then the rest is wool. So it means that is gonna keep you so, so warm. It, it's just such a classic style. It really rem reminds me of something like maybe Audrey Hepburn would have worn or it's something that is, is timeless. Like it's not something that's super in fashion now, but that means it's not, it's not really going to go out of style. I just, I think it's a coat that I honestly hope to have for many, many years because I just think it's stunning. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to just say about it in particular. If you follow me on Instagram, you've maybe already seen a couple of pictures of it. It's a great length as well. So I, what I love about having a longer coat is that if you're wearing, say, like a short dress or you're going out, you know, November, December time, Normally we're a wee bit dressed up, we're going to our Christmas parties or we're going wherever and I can sometimes feel a bit self-conscious when you're all dressed up. So it's really nice having a long coat that just covers you, covers your legs and it means, you know, you can arrive, <laughs> de-robe and, you know, out you stand in your, your outfit and you feel, you don't feel as if the wind or the rain, you know, it's Glasgow, has attacked your outfit 
I mean, obviously you don't want this going on your gorgeous coat either, but you do. it does mean that you feel slightly protected. So that's what I just love about having a longer coat as well. And I do think the Affair to Remember was slightly shorter. So this is, I guess, the, the it's definitely the biggest item in this video. So I just wanted to start off with it just because I thought there may be some people interested in this brand. Um, what the experience with them was, etc. The only thing I would say is this this is the reason this video is a little bit late, <laughs> is because it actually didn't arrive in time for Christmas, but that is also probably to do with the current situation that we're in. Um, I mean, as, as a business myself, I knew a lot of my orders were getting delayed on the run-up to Christmas via Royal Mail. UPS wasn't as bad, <laughs> but Royal Mail, everything seemed very, very slow. So that's nothing I would hold against the brand particularly there are there are custom made so um yeah that's one thing to bear in mind if you are looking to make a purchase give yourself that extra time needed but they are an absolutely stunning brand and I just I just love this coat so I'm gonna move on now I'm gonna put her away but I don't really want to yeah so that is the, the first item so I'm gonna stick with the clothing for just now and show you a couple of jumpers that I was really lucky to receive so one of them you may have seen if you watched my Dom Perignon video so it is this one here so it says well I'm going to say it in French because I think that's how it should be said because it rhymes so champagne et montagne I think that's right because otherwise it would be champagne and mountain which obviously doesn't sound that does not sound as chic so champagne et montagne I actually was learning French at one point last year but I've kind of it's fallen by the wayside just because I've just got a lot on at the minute but I really do want to pick up my French but that's a side note. And then the other one, which is the same kind of vibe, which says Chalet en Rosé. So these are jumpers that I just have actually wanted for quite a while. And I just love those slogans. And normally I do love to go skiing. Obviously I've not made it this year. Probably not gonna make it at all skiing this year. Um, obviously you've only really got until about Easter if you're going in Europe and I just don't think that's gonna happen. So it's gonna be perfect for next Christmas, next winter. Hopefully I can go skiing and be in a lovely ski lodge wearing my new jumpers, but I just love the slogans. I think they're just so cute and right up my street with the, <laughs> the alcohol <laughs> being mentioned. So they're from a brand called MC2 Saint Barth and they actually popped up on my Instagram. So that is how my sister actually got the same one because I said, I just said, I feel like these jumpers would just be so cute for us going skiing. Um, so that's how I, I found out about them. I'd never seen them before this, but yeah, I just really, I loved the sort of ski chalet vibes with these jumpers. This was a really cute gift that I honestly am obsessed with. I've never seen anything quite like this. So I'm just gonna pop it out of the box. So this is the wee box just here. I'm gonna see if I can slide it out like this. Cause it's, it's quite delicate. I don't want to maybe just gently pull it out. Ah. So basically what it is, it's a little flower in a jar, but it's scented. It's like a little, it's like a diffuser, but instead of just sticks, it's like a rose. And I just thought that was the most stunning thing. So basically you have this little bottle with it as well. And I think, I think all you do is spray it on the rose. I need to double check, but I mean, I know there's like, for example, I have these boxed flowers, but I've never seen anything like this where it's like scented and it's like refillable. You can just top it up. So I'm so excited to pop this on my dressing table. I absolutely love it. I just thought this is so me. It's so unique. This was a perfect gift. I just, I'm really obsessed with it. So. I'm not sure, you know, much about this brand. I hadn't heard of them before. Um, they're called Cote Noir. I'll see if I can Google them and find the link. If I can, I will pop it in the description box just in case anyone is interested. And this one is called French Pink. I mean, is that not just stunning? So yeah, I really wanted to share this little gift with you. Okay, so the next item is probably fairly generic for Christmas time, particularly if you are a girly girl. So it is of course some of the Snow Fairy products and this, I mean, this is just Christmas for me. Like it just, oh my god, <laughs> it's coming out. Oh dear. This is the shower gel, I don't really know what to do with this. One second. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry about that, that was just a slight <laughs> mishap. So I'm not going to talk too much about Snow Fairy as I'm sure you've all seen it before. If you haven't, oh my goodness you need to try it. Although I think it is seasonal. I think they only bring it out on the run up to Christmas. I'm not sure if there's still any like in stock 
from this year, but oh, it's just stunning, isn't it? So that is the shower gel, and actually what I want to show you is a couple of the other bits from the Snow Fairy range, which I haven't tried before. So, um, I have this Snow Fairy body conditioner, so I guess pretty much like a moisturizer, and it, it looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Like it looks so pink and just like, oh. And this, I, lo I just love the scent, it's so strong. And then this, <laughs> It's like quite unusual looking. It's a body spray and it says just the thing for fairies, pixies, imps and all magical creatures. Is that not just so cute? I do think the, the spray is a bit random so I'm going to just pop a bit on to show you so you could just go. <laughs> like, that does feel a bit weird like you're cleaning your arm. <laughs> but oh my god the scent. I forgot you shouldn't rub you should just dab shouldn't you? The scent is unreal and I actually sprayed this the other day and it lasted for so long. So if you love Snow Fairy, this is one to keep an eye out for maybe next year if they've already sold out this year. So that is the little bits from Lush um, Snow Fairy range. I'll just pop them over here. I do also have a few gifts that are definitely quite Freddy inspired. So if you like Freddy My Love, you'll probably have seen some of these on her gift guide um or just maybe on our channel so this first one is something that i've actually wanted for so so long and just just look at this packaging so it is the lily silk silk pillowcases so i have honestly been just dreaming of these every time freddie talked about them when she did her lockdown video i just thought that looks so luxurious obviously i'm a big big blair Waldorf fan and her whole bed just looks like a big silk marshmallow everything seems to be silk on it so this is my first step this is the only thing silk on you know my bedding. I don't have anything else. This is the first step. So I've already opened one of them, and this one, this one is actually I just loved how it was packaged. So I actually haven't opened it yet, but I've opened this one because they're both the same. So it is the white frilly pillowcase. So I will undo it for you here. I mean, it just feels so so soft. I know it's a little creased looking at the minute, so I'll I'll work out what I can do. I don't, I don't know like about ironing and stuff like that. <laughs> so I'll look into that, but it honestly just, oh, that feels amazing. I would love to rub my face on that, but there's no way I can with all this makeup. But yeah, this is just something I feel like every princess needs. We need to be sleeping on silk to protect our hair, our skin. Oh, I am so excited. The only thing I would say is, so I need to double check what size I got. I'll write it in the description box, but they are really big. So I need to just check whether this is going to be too big for my current pillow. Let me just quickly see. Actually, do you know what? I think it's just the, the frill that's making it look so big. I've just kind of placed it over my current pillow and it I think it will fit. So probably is just the standard size. So definitely a really luxurious feeling gift. So I will move on from this one. So this next item is definitely very Freddy as it was actually featured in her Christmas gift guide. And it is a pair of shoes from ASOS, which I will say they are, they're definitely not everyone's cup of tea because they are very princessy, very glam, but oh my God, <laughs> like, are they not just unreal? I just feel as if they're stunning. And I know like, they are, they are borderline being sort of from a pantomime or something, <laughs> but I love them. And I'm, I'm not being rude about the gift because I, this was something I'd written on, a, you know, a wish list. So, um, I know, I feel like it, these were actually from Lauren, my sister, and I'm, I'm not actually sure whether she would even like them. I don't know if she would. I mean, yeah, but I, I love them. And I do feel with the right outfit, they could look so cute and just like, let's say you know you could keep keep your the shoe being the sort of feature of your outfit something like a bit more of a even like a plain little white dress or something and just this stunning shoe so I'll try and do a wee close-up shot just so you can see as well they are insanely high as well that is the only thing and obviously there's no platform so I have tried them on and I don't think I'll be walking very far in them but they are they're gorgeous so thank you so much Lauren for these. I honestly can't wait to be kind of a girl's night and I can wear my new shoes. <laughs> and the other thing that Lauren actually got me was this really cute MAC lip gloss. So I think it was a new range they brought out this year because I remember having a conversation with her and we were both saying how much we loved the packaging because it's this like metallic pink but like a really lovely like pale pink. Um, so I'll show you, hopefully you can see because the lid actually has like glittery frosting going down it. 
So I just thought this was absolutely stunning. And it's a really lovely, just like, I guess kind of nudie pink color. So I'll just pop a wee bit on because I actually haven't even tried it on. Let's just see. I already do have a little bit of colour on my lips so it might not be the true true colour but yeah it looks it looks lovely just like quite a nude neutral pink but I absolutely love that. Sorry my camera just suddenly shut off there I think there's a lack of space on the memory card so I'm just gonna wrap up this video but this is the last thing I wanted to show you which is this amazing coffee table book. I love Dolly Parton, I love country style music you know I'm a massive Taylor Swift fan and I know she's not so much country anymore but I love I love the little twang that you hear in some of her songs so I was just really excited to have this book and I just can't wait to sort of digest it I mean some of the pictures in it are just amazing like look at look at these ones here so yeah I really I just love like lovely big books like this as well like they're so like so nice just to have sitting out so yeah thank you very much Lauren for the last wee gifts there the ones I've mentioned and I just want to also quickly mention another book which unfortunately I don't have here with me but I will include a picture so it's called Shuggy Bane and it won the 2020 Booker Prize and it's basically a story about growing up in Glasgow I think around about the 1980s when things were really really difficult so I just thought I'd mention it in case there's anyone else that's quite into reading because I, I love reading different books and I also read this other book actually as part of my higher English called The Changeling and I really loved the fact it was set in Glasgow and it it showed you know a, a true raw story so um yeah I just thought I'd mention it. it's called Shuggy Bane if, if you haven't heard of it or if you fancied having a look um obviously I'm from Glasgow so that is particularly why I'm interested but it did win the Booker Prize as I mentioned so it's obviously worth a read if you are looking for a new book. So that really is the end of the video. I'm afraid it's not been that long today. I don't think I'll be able to tell when I'm editing, but I don't think it feels as if it's going to be that long of a video. So I'm sorry about that, but I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. And yeah, again, apologies for the untimely upload, but there wasn't much I could do. And I just thought I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. We're all in lockdown and I just fancied filming it anyway. So I hope you all have a lovely day or evening, afternoon, whatever you are doing. I'm about to go and pour myself a glass of bubbles because I've been dry all week. <laughs> and this is part of my New Year's kind of resolutions. It's not as much a resolution, it's just a slight cutback. So I'm not drinking. I don't normally drink during the week anyway, but sometimes like a Thursday or a Friday night I maybe have something. Whereas I'm not, I'm not at all having anything during those weeknights at the minute. It's only a Saturday or a Sunday that I'm having a wee drink. So I'm um, definitely had enough of my tea. I'm gonna go and get a champagne. <laughs> so yeah, thanks again for watching. I will be back next Wednesday with a video at seven o'clock. I'm confident that I'll be able to do it. So I'm putting it in the video. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I will see you all again soon. Lots of love, bye.